Hello, this is Stephen Rusi presenting an introduction to what is new in Firebug 2. Firebug 2 is a big jump in functionality and performance. It utilizes a new debugging engine, JSD2, as a Firefox 30, which is a hard requirement. One of the first features I'm going to show you is in the script panel. Here, you can see that the JavaScript has been syntax highlighted. In addition, you could go to a minimized file and choose this, which will pretty print. Firebug has a powerful search functionality. Let's try it in the script panel. In this case, I'm going to look for jQuery. By also choosing multiple files, I'm able to search not through the, just the jQuery file, but also other ones that use jQuery, in this case, FancyBox. I can also choose a line number. Let's say we want to go to line 200. There, I found it. We could also use search in all the other panels. Let's start with the HTML panel. Let's look for body. There it is. How about something inside body like UL? Perhaps a direct child like LI. I wonder if there's a span inside. Yes, there it is. You could also use regular expressions. Let's try that. Let's search this document for a digit. Oh, there. They found it right there. There's quite a few in here. Search is available in almost every panel. Firebug has long had autocomplete. For example, down in the command line, looking at document and then get element by ID. That was pretty easy. But we also have the large command area. Here, document, now you have to hit a tab key. And there, there we have it. Get element by ID. Now, that makes things easier. Let's also try some of this in the HTML panel. Let's go ahead and add something to the body. Just click at the end, and we can start with, say, style, tab, background. Look, it auto-completed there. Let's try red. Well, maybe not the best style in the world, but you get the idea. Now we could go over here and see that the body <coughs> does indeed have red. We could also have the color as authored or as a hexadecimal or any of these other choices. That's pretty cool. Another nice new thing in the script panel is getting the return values during function execution. Let's go have a look. Let's go ahead and run this test function. We'll go down, run a couple lines. Now it's about to return A. Ah, look, there, return value, 20. I think I can find that very handy. Go ahead and download and install Firebug 2 on your own and discover what more new things are in there. Thank you, and see you next time.